Hello, how are you doing? It's a lovely week. It's a beautiful Monday. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm so excited to be with you. I'm Ogo Hilali. I'm a social media expert and online business coach. Thank you so much for tuning. Today I'm here to share value. And the title of my topic is Gaining Clarity and Confidence in Your Transition Process. Gaining Clarity and Confidence in Your Transition Process. Thank you so much for tuning. In case you're watching the live, you can drop a comment. In case you're watching the replay, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much. Clarity and confidence are key to making intentional and positive decisions about the next step in your journey. I repeat, clarity and confidence are key to making intentional and positive decisions about the next steps on your journey. Yeah, because journey means an act of traveling from one place to another. That journey means from an act of traveling from one place to another. Life is a journey. It's often used as a metaphor for our life experiences. The language you use when talking about your life in this term gives a strong indication of how you perceive your current situation, which in turn impacts on your approach and deal with it because life has Journey is part of our everyday language. You are unlikely to be unconsciously aware of, aware of how you are using it. However, noticing this language helps you understand your current mindset. If a sense of the language helps you to, to understand your current mindset, whether in relation to career, relationship, well-being, or spiritual goals. For example, do any of this is not with you? That's when you're coming from a place of clarity. I'm at a crossroad. I feel directionless. It's coming from a place of clarity, from, from, from of no clarity. This coming from a place of lack of clarity. I'm at a crossroad. I feel directionless. I've lost my way. I'm over the hill. I will cross that bridge when I come to it. I've got a mountain to climb. It's coming from a place of lack of clarity. Then listen to this. I don't know if it's resonating with you. It's coming, coming from a place of clarity. There's light at the end of the tunnel. There's light at the end of the tunnel. I'm on the right path. I'm ready to take the next step. We reach a milestone. I'm looking forward to the adventure. I want to expand my horizon. This is coming from a place of clarity. They are frequently associated with periods of transition. They are frequently associated with periods of transition. You may notice the first set lean towards having a lack of clarity. The first set lean on having a lack of clarity and confidence at this time. So take a moment to reflect on which ones resonated or you have been using. Having awareness of your language is very important. Having awareness of your language is very, very important because self-awareness expands your horizon. Understanding your personal journey helps you feel confident to start making changes you want to see so like any journey once you have a better idea of what's ahead you can decide the following is the direction i want to travel is this the direction i want to travel is there an alternative route is there a risk in traveling now should i wait do i need a guide map or compass or is the route familiar? Can I travel alone? It's worth spending the time answering them in details. Although it may feel a lot, try to apply this process to all your, your, journey, your journey metaphors. Doing so provides you with clarity and confidence to make bold decisions. Transition is a funny thing. Transition is a funny thing. It's easy for us to acknowledge 
what sees in the world around us is in because of the abundant safety of our science, our calendars, and the boundaries we have considered to define them. But when transition becomes the scene of our personal journey, when transition becomes the, the scene of our personal journey, we sometimes have difficulty recognizing what's happening. Yes, we find difficulty recognizing what is happening. The moment we look back at where we have been, on that, you are no longer satisfied in that place. Why feeling compared to march forward, having no idea exactly where you will end up? I repeat, that is clarity. The moment you look back at where you've been, and on that, you are no longer satisfied in that place. Why feeling compared to march forward, having no idea exactly where you will end up? That is clarity. Hey, hey, thank you so much for tuning in, Leslie. That is clarity. I'll give you some, some three tips to gain your, your, your confidence as you transition, to gain clarity and confidence as you transition in your journey. One, your direction determines your destination. Thank you so much, Leslie Ang. Thank you so much, Good for tuning in. One, your direction determines your destination. Your direction determines your destination. Begin with the end in mind. Ah, Jami, Jami, please, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you, thank you, Kudemi. Thank you so much, I'm so excited. Your direction determines your destination. Begin with the end in mind. Unlike most goal setting, the way we are in transition, all we know sometimes is where we no longer want to be. Where in the intention is all we know is where we no longer want to be. We need a change. And that we want some changes. The problem is, the problem is that not all change is good change. The problem is that not all change is a good change. So it becomes really important that we at least know what direction we want to go and have some setting that the direction we are taking will keep us heading into the future of who we want to become. According to Tony Robbins, you can head east looking for a sunset all your life, but you will never find it. According to Tony Robbins, you can head east looking for a sunset all your life, but you will never find it. <coughs> Excuse me. You will never find it. In other words, you can have a noble intention, but pick the wrong strategy for becoming successful in your, it's your strategy. You can have a noble um, intention, but pick the wrong strategy for becoming successful. As of this question, is your strategy supporting your intention? Is your strategy you are doing right now supporting your intention? Then number two. What gets your attention determines your direction. What gets your attention determines your direction. Your perspective is everything in the season of transition. Truth be told, your perspective is everything in a season of transition. Where focus goes, energy flows. Where focus goes, energy flows. Where you put your focus, energy flows. It means that what we are focused on determines where we are headed. Where we are focused on determines where we are headed. When I was growing up, we used to go to the mall with my aunt and she would stop in almost every single store that drew our interest to the stop front window, getting easily Ah, Koshia, thank you for tuning. Getting easily distracted like, like that would turn a one hour trip to the mall into all day event. It was exhausting and cost us the most precious thing we have on this earth time. Getting easily distracted with everything will cost you a serious time in going to your, to your destination. Have you ever had this happen to you? You set out to get something done, but then find your focus floating into a 
and just locate where you want to be. If so, then maybe it's time to pay attention to what you really want in this moment. That is it. It's time for you to pay attention to what you really want at this moment. And not all the things you are allowing to grab your attention. Because a lot of people in this journey, they are being carried, they are being delayed. Why? Because of shiny objects. Shiny objects. Shiny your object is keeping a lot of people stuck from getting clarity. Then number three, seek direction from wise sources. So you can choose wise causes. Seek direction from wise sources. So you can choose wise causes. I could many times more children. Seek direction from wise sources so you can choose wise causes. Since the sin of tension is defined by our inability to know exactly what our destination is going to be, and we can easily feel uncertain about the direction we are headed, this would be a great time to enlist the help of someone. I mean, you enlist the help of someone whose results you admire and whose wisdom you can glean. I'm an avid reader. I always give myself to personal development. Yes, I almost give myself to. I always give myself to personal development because personal development is a continuous process. When I find myself in a new scene or introduced to a possible new direction, I always do my research from those who have traveled further down the road than I have. That is it. I always get research from those that have traveled further down the road that I, that I have. This helped me to see whether I might need to straighten things in my life that may be weak and identify the pitfalls to avoid when walking down a new path. It is very important. You make research from people that you are people that have gone further than you in this journey. Other great ways to shorten your learning curve during a season of transition would be to ask for help. I mean, to ask for help from someone who's been there and done that. Find a mentor. Find a mentor, someone you admire and want to imitate. I mean, find a mentor with someone you admire and want to imitate. To agree in an interview where you can ask the question that you need answers to. And getting a coach is always a good choice. Truth be told, getting a coach is always a good choice when you are in transition. It's very important you get a coach when you are in the transition process because they can help you through the tough times. Yes, they can help you through the tough times because the transition process is just like when you're passing through a dark tunnel. Getting a coach will stand as the light to guide you through the tunnel. When you're not feeling like this season, because you have that feeling that you don't, you're not sure if this season is ever going to end. And point out patterns of your own. The coach will help you to point out patterns. Maybe your behavior that are not serving your goal. Your behavior may not be serving your goals. Always ask yourself this question. Are the sources you are seeking wisdom from supporting your ability to make wise decisions? Are the sources you are seeking wisdom from supporting your ability to make wise decisions? Very important answer to this question. Are the sources you are seeking wisdom from supporting your ability to gain clarity? Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm so excited to be with you. It's very important you ask a coach or someone that has gone further than you in the journey. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm so excited to be here. Thank you so much. Searching for another. Thank you so much. Thank you. Follow me for tips, tools, and training to professionally build your network marketing business online to get targeted prospects and team members. Follow me for tips, tools, and training to professionally build your network marketing business online to get targeted prospects and team members. If you love to learn more about working effectively and getting real results, 
in your business click on the link below to get access to the free 10 day online recruiting bootcamp obtain your email to get it now thanks for tuning in if you would love to learn more about working effectively and getting real results in your business click on the link below to get access to the free 10 day online recruiting bootcamp obtain your email to get it now thanks for tuning in